It is the 3rd of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Grab some coffee and buckle up. It's going to be a long one. Let's go ahead and get started. Sot.net tonight. Unexplained triple mystery booms rattle houses in northern region of France. Um, they're reporting large booms, sonic shook, shook houses, that kind of thing, and also helicopter noises, but of course the military's denying anything. Um, so another mystery noise happening in uh, Europe. Flood damage Fiji linked to war zone, or likened to war zone. Uh, damage was extensive. They declared a state of emergency. Very, very, very severe storm. Los Nevados National Park closed over volcano alert. Central Columbia authorities closed the National Park Sunday after an increase in seismic activity of the Nevado del Ruiz volcano. And uh, again, this volcano has been gearing up for a little while now. Well, that's about all new they have going on today. Over to the Extinction Protocol. Mother Nature's latest attack on Japan. Strong winds. Uh, that of Tokyo after a winter of record snow and avalanches, not to mention last year's record strong quake, mega tsunami, and a series of powerful typhoons, Japan is once again being battered by the elements. This time it's wind. A low pressure system that landed on Japan's main island of Honshu Tuesday was brought to typhoon force winds and rain, even snow, in uh, anticipation of the worst of the storm. Um, the Japanese Meteorological Agency called an unusual emergency press conference Monday and issued a strong wind warning for Tokyo and neighboring um, prefectures. And uh, stories go on. i got a couple more I'm going to cover later. Mantle Plume, El Hiro Island struck by two small tremors, or El Hiro. Uh, this is the volcano on the Canary Islands, um, still seismically active, still the jacuzzi goes on, that kind of thing. Um, very much so, this volcano is not done doing what it's doing. 4.0 magnitude earthquake strikes Oklahoma. Um, the earthquake shook southeast Oklahoma at 2.33 a.m. Tuesday, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The quake was centered in the town of Pittsburgh, about 16 miles southwest of McAllister and 100 miles, 109 miles southeast of Oklahoma City. A uh, very fracked area. Um, and again, no telling what's really going on with that. That's about all new they got going on besides the war drums and the economy crap. Uh, over to the watchers real quick. Tropical storm whips southern Vietnam. Uh, the first typhoon of the northern hemisphere in 2012 typhoon season. Um, Pakar weakened to a tropical storm before making landfall in southern Vietnam on Sunday on the coast. Uh, less than 100 kilometers of Ho Chi Minh City. At the time of landfall, highest sustained winds were about 40 miles an hour, or those of a minimal tropical storm, but still um, the first tropical storm of the season, or the typhoon, they call them out there. And the state of emergency declared in Fiji story. And that's about all new that they've got going on. Over to the RSOE quick. Of course, they've got the Japan statewide... Uh, Freak low system um, rolling through their typhoon class winds. Got a Vanuatu volcano is gearing up. Uh, put up some new alerts with that. And what else? Uh, we had either space junk or a meteor um, burn up in the sky over uh, San Antonio, Texas. Put on a big show about 11:30 or so at night. Um, and again, there it's either space junk or a meteor, but a you know, big streak of light through the sky kind of thing. And that's about all new they've got going on. I've got a lot of nuclear stuff going on today. I'm going to cover about three different sites, so bear with me. Uh, let's start with ENE News. I'm just going to read the headlines. Scientists measured 2,000 trillion becquerels of cesium-137 in one study area. Would have been much higher, but radio radioactivity was transported away by the time of sampling. They're getting doctored numbers and still getting these numbers. Uh, iodine-129, a growing radiological risk. 15.7 million year half-life. Almost undetectable. Traveled along with iodine-131 from Fukushima. And it concentrates in hot spots. Highest estimate yet. Fukushima about equal to Chernobyl, says U.S. government-funded study. 
which means it's probably a hundred times worse than that bunch of criminals Japan government study shows radiation plume going to Hawaii Fukushima contaminated water to hit in under two years ocean may be 50% of EPA's maximum contaminant level for drinking water uh, that is a severe understatement. You got to remember, this isn't just one release that happened over a year ago. This has been ongoing. So basically, Japan is this big radioactive tea bag, and the Pacific Ocean is becoming more and more and more contaminated and radioactive. And uh, they, they found cesium in um, the kelp off the coast of California. But where was that on the mainstream news? Japan is on high alert for ty typhoon class storm Fukushima Daiichi in the path. Tuesday night, and you got to remember how um, fragile number four a uh, holding tank is for the fuel rods, and uh, how that's crumbling already in good weather. Uh, what's 140 kilometer per hour winds and rain going to do towards that? Fukushima fallout in New Hampshire, radioactive iodine at 12,000 atoms per square meter meter in sediment. Uh, and they have the study on that. And that's about all new they've got going on. Over to uh, Fukushima Diary, um, just covering their daily news. Cloud Circle, um, this might be some weather manipulation going on. Tornado watch for eastern Japan according to rainfall. Thunder observations data of TEPCO. Rain fell in a circle about a 130 kilometer radius shape above Fukushima from 1230 to 1800 local time the center is near Fukushima plants for some reason and uh, the motion of the cloud is circular especially when the storm rolled through and they've got charts and uh, photo, um, pictures of that you can kinda see what's going on with some crazy weather going on over Fukushima during this unusual typhoon type storm radioactive storm Following this article, Tornado Watch for Eastern Japan, the storm increased radiation level uh, around in Kanto area, a bunch of different prefectures, because the indoor dosimeters didn't show radiation level pickup, it is the rain and wind to increase the radiation level, and that's just basic science. Uh, it's in the air, it's in the trees, it's everywhere. And... Uh, that's about all new they've got going on today. The last place I want to take you is uh, EXSKF. It's a nuclear site. Disaster debris, wide area disposal. United States military in Okinawa uneasy over Okinawa's willingness to accept and burn radioactive uh, debris from the tsunami. Uh... Where's the other story? Ah, LPD, L, LDP politician demands government action against Mayor of Sapporo, Hokkaido, who is against accepting disaster debris in his city. Uh, upper House Committee to take action against Sapporo Mayor, who refuses to bat disaster debris. Remarks of the Mayor um, were were topic of the discussion during the intensive deliberation in the Upper House Budget Committee on April 2nd. Mayor uh, Yuda has said he will refuse to accept a disaster debris from March 11, 2011's earthquake tsunami, and I don't blame him one little bit. The Minister of Environment, Han, Han Sono, said, We will explain to him again so that he understands and he would request again that Sapporo City accept this debris. So basically, uh, this mayor is under the gun. If he doesn't take this debris, they're going to get rid of him and get in somebody that will. Uh, the corrupt corruption is complete, total, and uh, unfortunately, Agenda 21 is uh, alive and well here in... Anyway, enjoy what you can, everybody. This is my kitty. Uh, leave your comments or post your videos. We'll see you.